By the way, I'm giving you the secrets to winning. Like if there was a playbook right now that would teach you how to win, this is it. Hey, if you got a problem with that, get the fuck out of here. My body went numb like a minute ago. I can't feel a thing from my head to toe. I lost my mind, man, I'm out of control. I can't stop, no, thinking I'm about to blow. Like a dog fight. So listen, everybody do me a favor. I want you to write standards, okay? And, and we're going we're gonna to create, uh, remember I said why? Why do we do what we do, right? You guys know the, you telling people every day why we do what we do will be the most important way to never let your team outgrow you. Okay, hey, by the way, I'm going to give you guys some advice, okay? This is super important. Never let your team outgrow you. Never let your family outgrow you. Never let your kids outgrow you. Never let your customers outgrow you. Never let anyone outgrow you. What does that mean? You got to reprove yourself every day. Reprove is something this world don't do. By the way, I'm giving you the secrets to winning. Like if there was a playbook right now that would teach you how to win, this is it. Now standards. How do I know if your standards are real or if they're fake? Everybody, I want you to write this down. So under standards, I want you to put show and I want you to put real. See, a lot of people, they try, they're, they're fake leaders. You guys know anybody that runs around like a leader? They know the language, they talk, but they're really not a leader. I know lots of people like this. You guys gotta make sure that you understand that show is what this world's all about and everybody's looking for real. And when they find real, that's when they'll give everything that they have. Now, how do you become real? Well, number one, you're the example, okay? So if you're the example, rule number one is we're gonna focus on a couple things. Everybody write down language, okay? Language is this. When you speak, you must speak in, in, in language of your core values, okay? What are my core values? Everybody see this back here on this wall? Okay, here, look, look, right here. I, I wanna show it right here. Everybody do me a favor. <laughs> I had a guy, I fired him the other day, right? Hey, I don't fire people very often, it's very rare. But, but you must be totally immersed. Everybody say total immersion. Total immersion. When you have core values, you will totally immerse in them. That means like, that's the only way your life changes is to completely live and die by these. And by the way, if you're not willing to die for it, it's not a real core value. It has to be real. Now, I want, I want to read these to you. And I had a guy, he goes, he goes, we can't have all these. There should be three. What about six? I go, bro, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> like, like, let me, uh, by the way, let me go over this. What about trusting God? Okay, what about loyalty? Yep. Hey, if you got a problem with that, get the fuck out of here. Yep. Okay, by the way, let me explain loyalty real quick. The definition of loyalty is being loyal, right, to the fucking mission. It isn't being loyal to me. By the way, if you want to get close to me, you get close to my team. People that come up and they're like, hey, 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 boss, what's going on? Back the fuck up. Hey, I want to know how my team feels about you. You being good to my team? You cheering my team on? You growing my team? You pushing the team? You being a good leader in the organization? I see you now. I like that because that's what an alpha leader does. An alpha leader continues to break the bar in their own industry, in their own sector, in their own territory, but also continues to help everybody else and all the others. That, that's what I want. That's the dude. That's the one that I want to give my time to. That's a special energy. That goes to that guy. That's my buddy now. That dude cares about what I care about, which is the company and the team. Okay, lead by example. Uh, by the way, standard setter. We set the standards, okay? No one else sets the standards for us. Hey, if you run into a dude and he ain't living up to the standards, we hold those standards. We don't go down because that person ain't with us. Listen, you guys, you guys do me a favor. Stop being weak. Stop being a pushover. Listen, I'm going to tell you this. My dad is a pushover, and I got in the most trouble of my life when I was a pushover. Don't let people push over you. I want you to decide what's right, which is why we're in this room right now. And then when we leave, the language that we speak is going to have those core values in it. By the way, core values are not meant for a wall. They're on your heart. When you're talking to your customers, your clients and everything, you're speaking your core values in your language. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna keep going here. Lead by example. You'll hear me talk about this all day long. Recreate daily. That means I don't care about who you were yesterday. Don't care what happened, doesn't matter to me. We're gonna reinvent ourselves every day. Okay, it's not about who you are, it's about who you're becoming. If some of you, if one of you guys yesterday honestly was just a piece of crap, I really don't care. I honestly don't. You know what sin is? Sin's something we all have. Okay, sometimes it's fun, sometimes it's not. It's something we all have. But can we all be redeemed? Okay, good. So if you did some shit two days ago or 15 years ago, I don't give a shit, bro. 
You were made to redeem yourself. I'm cool with it. That, that's what life is about. I won't hold that against you. Do you want to be better? Do you want to change? Bring it on, man. Let's go. You guys need to make sure that when you run into people, the way I'm talking to you is the way you talk to people. Hey, listen, by the way, you want to, you want to keep people with you forever? Tell them what you see in them. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Hey, I don't know if anybody's ever told you what, what they see in you, but let me tell you what I see. I see someone that's going to be a great husband. I see someone that's going to be a great father. I see someone that's going to get ripped and get in shape. I see someone that's going to make a lot of money. I see someone that's going to change a lot of people's lives. I see a leader. You know what I see? I see you dying with fulfillment in our company, and I'm always going to be with you. That's what I see. And they're like, dude, I'm in. Okay, is that person recruitable now? By the way, now you're going to go a step further. Who's important to you? Your wife? What's her name? Let's write that down. I'm going to memorize his wife's name. How many kids you got? What are their names? I want to know their names. I want to be close to your family. It's important to me. Whatever's important to you is important to me. Listen to me. I'm going to push you hard, and I want you to push me hard. But I want to make sure that you realize why well, I come to work every day for you and your family and also for mine. This is the brotherhood. This is the sisterhood. This is the family. This is culture. If you guys want to insulate yourself from any other company, from any fucking thing that happens out there, I don't care who gets elected this year. I don't care about the laws, how they change. We will figure out how to make things work. But the culture will insulate ourselves from any problems. And who creates a culture? This room right here. This room right here today and by the way, how often should you have these kind of meetings? Weekly. Weekly. I have them daily with my team, but weekly as leaders. And by the way, uh, meetings should not be fucking boring. They should be to the point, bring heat to the table. You should have done some studying to bring value to people. But you guys got to identify what these are. Be disciplined. This is big. No success will ever happen without discipline. And by the way, if you create a good body, you take your shirt off, you have a great body, people walk up and they'll say, hey man, how do I look like you? Listen, I like that. If I got a badass marriage, me and my wife are marriage millionaires. We're killing it. We're, we're on fire. People come, how do I get a marriage like yours? I like that. I'm a badass dad. I got three kids. I'm playing my kids super hard. People say, man, how do I be a badass dad like you? How do you find time? I like that. Dude, I like people say, how do you build a team like this? I like that. You guys want to find out people coming up to you and going, hey, how do I get that? You got to become it. You guys got to totally immerse in this shit. And when people start noticing you, you know that you're helping them. And you will tell them the same thing. I once didn't have this, okay? I studied my ass off. I stayed disciplined. I led by example. I recreated every day. Hear the core values coming? And then they're like, dude, I, I can do that. Yeah, you can. And now those people want to be with you. Okay, be disciplined. Accept responsibility. This is a big one to me. Hey, I don't give a shit what you guys do. Own it. You got to fucking own it, dude. Listen, I almost went to jail back like in 2012. I went through some shit and I owned it. It came out one day. They were like, dude, all this shit happened. I said, dude, I did that and way worse. I own it. I own it. And dude, I had to go through that to become who I am now. You wouldn't see this person today so passionate, so alive, and so fired up had I not almost had my life taken from me. You got to realize this, man. That's how God works. Okay? The only way you can change sometimes is to really almost lose it all. And then you're like, dude, I don't like that. Okay, cool. But sometimes, you know, some of us are a little more stubborn than others. We need some really bad shit to happen. So I'm just trying to tell you that, you know, accept responsibility, own it, but I'm not that person anymore. So like who you're talking to now is not that person and you'll see. Okay. So keep your word. This is the hardest thing any human being will ever do. I need you to understand this. People can't keep their word. People can't keep their word. Would you guys stay in a relationship with somebody that constantly lied to you? How many of you said you were going to get in shape this year? Okay, see all those hands? Have you been going to the gym? No, you hit the fucking snooze button. You already lied to yourself. Listen, I need you to understand something. Your own relationship with yourself will determine what you get. Now listen, you'll never out-earn, we're talking about money here for a minute. You'll never out-earn your own self-worth. So, if I say I'm gonna get up at 5 a.m. in the morning, 5 a.m. in the morning, I don't get up, I'm a, I'm a fraud. See, See, your wife, and by the way, listen to me, all that stupid shit you're telling your wife, like, babe, I'm going to start getting up, going to the gym, I'm going to start doing this. She don't fucking believe you no more, dude. She, listen, she knows you're full of false promises. 
I mean, like, listen, would some of you get mad if your wife goes, dude, my husband's a liar. He fucking lies all day long. Everything he says he does, he ain't going to do. Or, oh, he does some things, but he doesn't do it all. You would get mad. Dude, you, that's just the truth. The truth is dark. In this room today, what we're doing is that we're going to understand the truth. Listen, winners look in the fucking mirror and own their shit. Winners love criticism. They love it. Winners, if you're a winner in this room, when I'm telling you something, you're like, I don't do that, dude. I'm going to do that from now on. You're like, thank you, I owe you. Like, thank you for that, because I fucking owe you now, because I'm going to change. Losers hate criticism. They hate it, because they don't want to own any of it. So keep your word, guys. This right here, I, I feel like when you keep your word with yourself, it's super easy to keep it with everybody else. My wife has a rule, no matter what, we don't break our word. If I tell someone I'm going to do something, I have to die before I, I have, I have to do it. It doesn't matter. And you need to be around people that hold you to that elite standard. Okay. All right. Take the initiative. What does that mean? We see a piece of trash on the floor. We can pick it up. You say, well, yeah, but that's not my trash. Did you see the trash? When you see the trash, you have to accept responsibility that now you've seen it. Now you have to take initiative and pick it up. By the way, how does it feel when you pick it up? It feels great. You know why? Because you're not a piece of shit. Secondly, also, you know what it does is it gives someone else the opportunity to see you pick that piece of trash up. And if you're a leader, when your team or anyone around you sees you execute those standards, you make them better. Guys, this is the key. This, this, this is how the world used to be. We're going old school, man. This is why I'm winning. This is how I built a nine-figure business. This is why we get 150 million views every 28 days on social media. This is how we built a f***ing business badass. This is how my team will die for me and I'll die for them. This is how this was all built. This, 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 people are f***ing tearing everything down out there. And you guys got to stay true to what it is and you guys got to be the leader, be the example and bring this shit back. And hey, listen to me. I'm going to tell you this. The, those of you in here that have, no one's ever counted on you, people thought you were going to be a piece of your whole life dude listen are they right or are they wrong okay like listen to me dude a lot of you are proving the fucking people right that the shit they said about you you're doing exactly what they said hey he's always going to be a burnout he's always going to be a washout we always watch his cycles he goes hard for two years and then he goes back to drugs or he goes back to drinking or he loses his deal or this happens we know exactly what's going to happen with him Fuck you you have no idea what's going to happen are you kidding me Dude, you guys got to live a life that counts. And I promise you, some of you guys are a little older. Some of you guys are younger. I don't care what's happening. All I care about is from now until the day they bury you in the fucking ground. Dude, never retreat back to your old life. Never, never surrender. Never. I would rather die than go back to who I used to be. And by the way, every day I have to get better. Recreate is a daily deal, not once. Today in here, what I'm talking to you about, when you guys get out of here, you're going to plug into leadership training every minute of the day, all day long. You're going to make your people do it. You're going to do it. You're going to be like a preacher in the pulpit all day long, talking to people about how great this opportunity is. You're going to work your ass off because without hard work, you won't grow. Two or three good years. That is it. Every one of you in here, two or three good years. Hey, I want you to be here till you die, but just two or three good years, you will be so far ahead you will have no clue if you can just stay in this place it's a compound effect dude if you like what I'm talking about today imagine if we talked about it again on day two day three day four day five 365 days 750 days 1200 days dude now you're a fucking machine now you're like dude people they're afraid of you you're dominating and intimidating but you're a loving animal. You're freaking, and by the way, you've changed your entire bloodline. If some of you were to die in three years, at least when they bury you in the ground, your family's talking about you 500 years later. That motherfucker changed the whole, and whether it's wealth or habits, you changed it. My family is 350 to 500 pounds. My family, so when I fuck with people about getting in shape, if you guys see me on social media, I'm always talking about the gym, and I'm gonna go back to this, but there's language, body, and focus. We're on language right now, okay? You gotta change your body too. Yeah, all this shit has to change together. And that's how this leadership team, when we all leave, you guys ain't gonna be the same fucking people anymore. You need to go home and burn your clothes. You need to go and burn your old shit. You need to go home and clean your refrigerator out. You need to go home and call your shot to your family and by the way, they're going to tell you you're not going to do it. 
because you've given them proof that you're not going to do it many times. That means you're going to actually have to stay in it and prove them. But after 90 days, they're going to be like, dude, you're changed. I love this. So always be learning. Take the initiative. Always be learning. Be selfless. Leaders are selfless. Everybody understand this. When you do something for someone else, you're selfless. Selfless is the key. Okay. Your number one goal is to be like, I'm going to do more for you. Listen, I will never have an employee outdo me. I will do more for you than you'll ever do for me. That's the rule. Okay. Selfless. Super important. Okay. Family. Family's everything. By the way, do you guys want to have a great family? Everybody else wants themselves to also have a great family. They need to know that you care about their family. Okay. I'm going to get into some shit here in a minute. It's going to go fucking deep. It's going to be crazy. Everybody remember, say, say, Andy, go back to family in a minute. Don't let me forget because I'm going to give you guys some tricks huge for takeover. All right, teamwork. The way that you guys all work together, if I say go left, can you guys all pivot left because you're all a team quickly? That's how close you need to be, okay? If anybody has any bad blood, any friction, well, they did this, they took one of my guys, they did this, hey, that shit's over. Come on, man. Quit. I mean, that shit happens, Okay, the question is, how do we deal with it? Do we deal with it like amateurs or we deal with it like pros? Listen, you guys got to understand something. Do you guys, when you guys fuck up, do you want somebody to have grace and patience for you? Okay, we got to have it for other people. My wife, I'm the king of when something happens, I'm like, oh, we're going to get, she's like, oh, Andy, I remember when you did that. Remember how those people showed you love? Yeah, I remember when you did that, right? And I'm like... She's like, you better have patience for other people because you're going to ask for patience for you when you mess up. And by the way, you will mess up again. I know you guys all in here say you won't, but you are. That's how life works. You got to have patience for people. And I will tell you, one of the greatest ways to earn loyalty is that, look, I'm not an idiot, okay? But I can tell when somebody does something intentionally or malicious and then they, and they, they do something because they were just, they're just trying too hard. You know, you just, you want to figure out how to win. I get it, man, but we can't do it that way no more. But because I know your heart, we're going to forget about this. We're going to move past this and me and you are going to grow. Do people love that, man? You had the ability to forgive me for that and move on and not hold it against me. Dude, that's amazing. Overcomer. This is big. You guys are all overcomers in here. You must tell anybody and everybody that you run into that, listen to me, you're made to overcome. Overcoming stuff is what life's all about. Okay. You had to go through what you, you had to go through to become who you are right now. Okay. You know why I'm interested in you? If you talk to a guy and I'm just making a point, no one else has ever believed in him. You know, you know, you say, you know why I'm interested in you? Have you ever had somebody believe that you're capable of something really big in life? Have you ever had somebody? Most people haven't. Well, I believe that with you. That's why I'm interested in you because you're an underdog. Look, I can go hire all these kids with these college graduate, college graduate degrees and all this shit. But you know what I like? I like underdogs. I like people that got something to prove. And I, I can see it in your eyes. I think you got something to prove. Okay? And I'm going to help you win. Okay? You don't let me down. I won't let you down. I'm going to give you an opportunity to build a new life with me. Guys, this is the language. You guys are all preachers. You guys are all motivational speakers. You guys, this is what you do for a living. You speak life into people. That's what makes them work. What did I say? How are we going to get rich? Human capital. How many people we can get? Can we get as many as we want? But there's two things. We got to get them to produce and then we got to get them to stay. We got to kill turnover. How do you kill turnover? By making the leaders fucking badass. Listen, you don't have to have a certain look. People need to be able to connect with your soul when they're talking to you. Okay? If I'm talking to you, I'd be like, dude, I don't know why, but I really like this person. Can you guys create that in you? Yes, it's by doing exactly what I'm telling you to do right now. Teamwork, believe, believe is everything. Do you guys believe that this is the best place to be? Do you believe that what we do is amazing? Do you believe that the people that come work for us can have a great living? Do you believe all of this? You got to believe it because when I look into your eyes, the eyes are the window to the soul. I can tell whether you believe or you don't believe. By the way, today is about creating your purpose. It is, listen, some of you, you're burned out. You're burned out. You're like, and that's fucking fake, just so you're aware, but you're burned out. You're like, Andy, you don't understand. Hey, shut your mouth. You're burned out. The reason why you're not on fire is because you lost your purpose. Once you realize, dude, this was never about you. You've been trying to take care of you your whole life and get shit for you. And that's the reason why you still don't have shit. When you guys go and build an army and you make sure that this army produces and feels that this is their family, 
and they get paid, you get fucking paid. Selfless. We're literally going to put everyone else in front of us from now on, and we're going to quit, quit saying what's in it for me. Love. Love will overkill everything, okay? Love, and I always say love don't lie, okay? So if I tell you the truth, I'm like, listen to me. The reason why I'm going to tell you is because I love you. A lot of people, I wouldn't tell because I don't love those people. But with you, I love you, so I want to tell you the truth, okay? And by the way, you know how you know if somebody really loves you or not? They tell you the truth. And the truth is dark, you know, if you had food on your face, a lot of you'd walk around and people wouldn't tell you that you had food on your face. They'd let you walk around and look like an idiot. Amen. Okay, but I'm going to tell you, hey, you got food on your face, man. Look, let me help you wipe that off. We're cool. Now, that's, that's a little bit weird, right? Because most people don't do that. But matter of fact, that's the greatest thing that someone could do for you. Hey, guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments. Tell me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254. 210-0254, I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. When I see you're capable of being great, when I see that you're not focused, when I see that you're not, your energy's not on point, when I see you're showing up late to work, hey, I'm going to correct you. Why? Because you have a standard you told me that you wanted to hit, which is why your goal is to get people to agree to reach higher standards. And not just agree with you so that they can say it out loud, but to physically believe it. My goal is with all of you in here today is to make you believe what you're worth because you are all truly worth it. And if you can do what I'm asking you to do, then you can leave here and you can reduplicate it with everyone else. I went to an event in 2019, okay? I went to an event. I walked in one way, left another. It was never the same. I just needed to learn a new ideology, a new way to think. I needed to steal a new thinking system. My thinking was garbage, you know? And that's why I tell you guys, it's, it's so much more than money. When you guys get this leadership, it, it's over. So never quit. You guys need to understand this. What's the, big, what's the big play in this company? Who can stay in the longest? Whoever can stay in the longest is going to get the richest. It's the key. It's the key. People will always start and they'll always stop. Okay, you guys got to become totally obsessed. When I said I'm a car salesman and I went and made all that money, I worked my way up to making two and a half million. They said that we could make over over hundred grand. When I started my own business, I started a sales training company. They told me they said, "Dude, you're never going to make it. You know, only five percent of the world's made for freaking entrepreneurship, and only one percent of the five percent become a, a millionaire. There's no way. Fuck you. I beat that ass. I need you to understand something. How intense are you, guys?" You have this instinct inside of you, this drive. You guys need to activate it. It's called, it's called like the prey drive. It's like the way that you, you know an animal sees something, how it says, I'm gonna go kill that, right? Like that, that you have to get inside of you, okay? You guys gotta understand this, man. There's gotta be something inside of you that goes, dude, like I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be re relentless. Like, I'm going to get in this zone like an actor gets in the zone and plays the part. You guys got to play the part of this badass leader. And by the way, it's not about being alpha. It's about being alpha and loving everybody else at the same time. It's very hard not to like this person. This person's so powerful, but also they're so loving, you just want to get close. You just want to know how they coexist, how they operate, how they live. You want to understand more about them. And by the way, you're willing to give anything for this kind of person because they're so rare. And all you wanted your whole life was to have one of these friends in your life. You guys, this is the key. Okay, do the right thing. You know what that means, right? Hey, just do the right thing. That's it. Like, guys, listen to me. If you just do what's right, you're going to go so far. Okay, but listen, can I, can I tell you this? Doing the right thing and being realistic are two different things. Don't fucking be realistic, okay? Realistic is you're all going to fucking die broke. Based on the stats... With your family and what you've done up to this point for the amount of years you've been alive, if I had to pull the data, you're going to fucking die without nothing. There's a good chance you guys will all end up with nothing. But since I'm unrealistic, I think that everything that you guys have gone to, you guys have seen enough now that if you continue this cycle and this pattern, you are effed. So you're going to break it. We're going to force break it. And anybody that doesn't like it can eat shit and leave. That's the way it is. And you guys must do this as a family and a team. You guys are no longer a team. You're a family. 
You must protect each other. You guys have shared goals. You guys must have trust within each other. You guys, like, this is a circle of safety. You guys got to realize that, man, like, everybody, and by the way, you got to only roll with those that are like you, that are us. You know what I'm saying? Like, you guys, have you seen those videos, the six pack of your fired, I have all the time out that are on social media? Well, I run these videos and I tell people, if you don't have a six pack, you're not going to work for me. It's, people hear it and they go, oh man, that guy's an ass. Let me explain what I mean. When you come to work for me, you know my intentions for you are to be extremely healthy and I want to, I want to have you work your way to a six pack. That's my goal. That's my goal with every employee here. So when you come to work here, you know that we're pushing you in that direction all the days of your life as you're continuing to work here. See? But you may think that, you know, I'm just walking up and going, hey, you got to get a six pack. Or you're out of here, bro. No, you sign on with my company because you know all the standards that we have. You know that those are standards that you want to become. So you don't have to have them when you come in, but you have to believe that you want those and you're willing to do anything to hit those standards. So if it takes two years, I'm cool with it. As long as every day I see you eating clean, working towards the right goals, working out hard and working towards what you said you wanted. Does that make sense? You guys, create these standards, man. I promise you, dude. It'll change everything. And I, I put be jacked because I just like, I like guys being all jacked up and shit, right? Okay. Hey, that's my standard. When you guys own a company, you guys get to write your own shit. Now look. Hey, by the way, be in shape. Don't you think be in shape's important? Yeah. Well, that's, that's my respect and integrity. This is a big deal. Um, we have to respect people. It's super important. No egos. Egos right here. This is the death of growth. Okay. It's the death. Okay. Egos, entitlement, that stuff's junk, man. It's no good for you. Confidence is key. Confidence comes from skill and the ability to know who you are. Egos, that's junk, okay? Husbands and wives, there's this thing called death by a thousand paper cuts. Imagine a paper cut. You know how it hurts, right? It don't kill you, but it hurts. It's a, it's a paper cut. And most people, they build resentment inside a company. They build resentment inside marriages. Children build resentment against their parents. It's all because of egos. So if you want to not ever have this death by a thousand paper cuts method, it's all by physically killing egos. And lastly, I say make our, keep our customers happy. Hey guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.